Hey guys! Today I'm planning for September in my bullet journal, and my theme for this month is Autumn Leaves. I'm starting off by doing the title on the left side of this spread, and I'm drawing four leaves, one for each letter of the abbreviation of September. I know September is technically abbreviated as SEP, but I feel like SEPT just looks better. Also, I wanted to do four leaves for each color in the progression from green leaves to brown leaves. One tip, for some reason I find that all of my drawings look better when they're outlined in black. I think because with a marker tip, especially my mild liner tips which are starting to fray, they're not as precise as using a black pen. So I can use a black outline to correct any slight errors that I made when doing the background color. Also, it does help to do the color first. I learned this lesson from many mishaps of doing the black pen first and then smudging it with the colors. One obvious reason that I chose autumn leaves as my theme this month is because it's the first month of fall, and I'm really excited for fall. I love crunchy leaves and hot tea, although I do live in California, so there's no real reason for that. But Another main reason that I picked this theme was because of a quote that really impacted me lately, which is, plant now, harvest later. Since it's the beginning of the school year, I really want to work hard and study and do all of these great academic habits that will help me later on when I might be more stressed and less motivated. So I've lettered this quote at the top to remind me to keep planting those seeds of good academic habits and getting all of my base knowledge down. Below, I'm doing my overview for the month. I've noticed that because I am now a junior, I've had a lot more tests and quizzes and other events than I did last year. So I've gone back to having a lot more space for events of the month. And now, flipping over to the next spread, this one is for my trackers and video plan. I drew a vine or stem on the left side of the page, and each title will be on top of a large leaf. As you can see, I'm setting up my video plan. I know you guys want to see the what's in my backpack video, and I promise it is coming. I'm going to start the month with the what's in my pencil case video, since it's easier to show you what's in my backpack once I've already showed you what's in my pencil case, that way I can just show you my pencil case without having to go through it. Next, I'm setting up my habit tracker, and my two habits for September will be reviewing vocabulary for French on Anki and flossing. You might have noticed that I messed up doing the numbers a couple of times. Whoops, the whiteout looks kind of weird, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And the last tracker on this page is finance, which is just a big blank space for a table. On the vine on the left side, I'm adding in some smaller leaves with no titles on them. And these are fading from the green to the brown in the same order that I did the title. Again, I'm going to outline them with black pen because everything looks better outlined in black pen. I think if there was some horrible accident or circumstance where I could only have one writing utensil ever, it would definitely be a black pen because I can take notes and bullet journal and do every single thing I'll ever need to do with a black pen. Now on the right side of this page, I'm setting up my one sentence a day, and I find that this method of journaling has been really fun and helpful to me since I get to look back on the day and think about what has been the most important and the most memorable. I'm also adding some vertical lines to separate columns, since that's one of my running visual themes throughout this month's setup. And here are the two completed spreads, which took a total of 40 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more of my Plan With Me videos, I will have the playlist linked on screen right now. I also upload new videos every Friday, and you can check out pictures of my bullet journal on my Tumblr and Instagram, which are at StudyQuill. See you next time!